Hey everyone, this is Sanjay. This video is going to teach you how to do a open source contribution to one of my repos. All right, so here we are at Recode Hive, um, which is like an awesome GitHub repository. So on the right side, you can see a link, which upon clicking, you will be redirecting to the deployment. So we deployed this in the GitHub pages. Um, so this basically lists down uh, different beautiful profiles at, at the moment. And in the future, we are planning to implement the tools where any new people can come here and build their own profiles in an easy way. So, you know, kind of making you stand out. For example, if you go to my profile, it tells me more about me in one single page. And upon scrolling, you get my contribution. And apparently, no one looks at your contribution, what you did. So if you know how to project your achievements for example how many views you have in the youtube or how many profile visits or uh, what you are what products you are selling and who you are so this would be easy for you as a developer to scale up your career so we are kind of helping people to build this now if you would like to part of this this is an open source program and the coding is completely available over here so anybody can clone it and work on this so the first thing you might have to do to work on this is something like Go to the deployment page over here and find what is missing. For example, over here, you can see this. none of these links are not working. And upon clicking on the compare page, you can see changes in the menu bar over here. There is no much nav button listed over here. That's the one thing. And you can see uh, even this page is appearing. So there are like a lot of things need to be improved in this particular website. Or you can even check uh, individual links available over here or how easy to add the profile, whether is it confusing the user or something like that. So this is how we have created this one at the moment. Um, now, if you find something you're missing over here, what you need to do is like come back over here and come to our issues and raise an issue. For example, you can see few of the people has been already raised an issue. You can click on new issue over here, which will give you a, you know, a template. Basically, you can just type like this, for example, it says enhancement in the GitHub batch page. Uh, half of the certificate image are sharp cornered or half of the round corner. So this is like a good finding. For example, if you go over GitHub badges and scroll down over here, uh, this is round corner. This is round corner. This is round, round, round. Okay, I'm not sure which one she is speaking about. Maybe the blog page. Seems good to me. Um, all right. Maybe I'll just check with them like which page. See, this is how we communicate. So upon communicate properly, I will assign to you, pers you with the proper labels like uh, what's really happening. So you guys know what a response has been given to that. Oh, I think I assigned to myself. I'll remove myself. I will add her. So similarly, you, either you can raise your own issues or you can work on the issues which have been raised. For example, you can click on here and click on assign to nobody, which gives you a list of issues which is not yet assigned to anyone. So if you like some um, issues which is already raised and you which is not even assigned yet, um, I think you can work on this particular part, right? So now I'm going to share you a kind of insights. For example, I think most of the people, you can see a project tab over here. So this gives you a list of tasks which we have been completed so far. We have completed around 105 tasks so far and what all in our to-do list and what's currently progressing right now, right? So this gives you an overall insight. Um, and there is another tab over here, which shows you complete list about uh, how many open issues been happening and who is the best contributor or something like that, or how you can replicate this project. So this is how you can contribute to here and any further discussions or something, I think it would be better if you raise it over here. For example, you can raise a new discussion. For example, if you have some ideas, uh, I have idea on login page. 
right demo and tag me sanjay right sanjay vishwanathan then start a discussion so this is a page where you can have for the discussion so in this organization what i want to you to do is like rather than raising an issue pull request and getting the task done i want you to familiarize with all the features which is available on the uh, github uh, how to use the proper um labels and how it's making more easy in terms of real time development now if the issue is really good uh, any of you or you or me can directly transfer this discussion into issues transfer this discussion create a issue from this discussion so now we can directly create an issue from this discussion and it would be easy for any other users to get to know more about the detailed discussion about what really happened who is working on this or something like that now again i do sponsor a lot of people if you go into my profile over here i do sponsor a lot of people who contributes better into this particular organization so i hope you can be one of them uh, i it's very easy to determine who is contributing because we do have the insights page over here which gives a complete overview about who is the best contributor so far or something like that right all right so everything is so transparent when github comes into the picture um that's all from my side regarding how to do the contribution what all things you need to focus on if you if you already see this has been assigned to somebody then check the check the timeline for example this has been commented 11 hours ago you can see this has been assigned 3 uh, minutes ago if it is like a one week then you can ask the project admin could you assign to me again because this is uh, not working uh, somebody has put that issue on stale right and ideally it will take for me to two or three days to review your pull request because most of the time the pull request will be way too bigger so you can see there is like a 100 uh, lines of code changes been happened over here right now if you are a beginner i would say there is like a replication thing has been given here uh, running your local repository uh, how to clone it so maybe i i will give you a small overview about it so you can either fork your repository from here forking would be a good option but upon your forking what you can do is like click on your code button click on this one and go to any folder which you want to make this into your local repository type cmd if you are using the command prompt or oh, sorry windows command prompt then type git clone right now it will be cloning all the repositories right now i mean the repository which you have seen from the github to your local system so now here you can do whatever your changes you want experiment it and let me know in the issues like okay this is something which you have tried i would like to push this into the main github repository so many people who watching that repository would be getting advantage of those things right all right so this is a bit lengthy uh process like there is something around uh, 320 mb of data so once this is done you can see this has been cloned into your repository right so now another thing is like you can open your vs code click on file click on open folder click on awesome kita repository and all the pro process with step by step instruction with the code everything is been written over here so you can just go and check it out so it's not a big thing out there click on terminal click on new terminal and over here you can wait for some time to terminal to get loaded and here is the assets which we have the folder structure library structure now you can check which branch you are currently right now git branch gh pages is the main page so you don't make changes into the main page repository so the good standing process is something like git uh, checkout b so it can be your branch name the read can be your branch name or your name anything it can be anything now you check the branch right now so you're working on the read branch so you're not making changes into the main branch so that's the right coding approach so once you have done this what you have to do is like change some change whatever you want for example if you want to make some changes into the readme page right now over here and maybe let me add few things over here click on save all right now you can add git star or that particular file name so 
I just only changed one file name over here. Um, MD git status. This show you what changes you have made, right? Now git commit m uh, change to readme. Make sure that you give me a proper uh, thing. Do not match the any files known to the git change to readme. Oh, I made a mistake. So there should not be a space over here. You can see the files has been changed over here. That's a good sign. Now what you do is like git push origin read. That should be your branch name. All right. Now this has been done. Now what you can see is like and I refresh this. There should be a pull request has been created for that branch over here, right? Now, what you need to do is like make sure that this is close to the base branch GH pages and this is your branch which you have been worked on right now. You can give some description, for example, uh, what you've been, this is just a readme demo change right and create a pull request upon you creating a pull request uh so you can see there is a pull request has been created there is two in the queue right now so it's my responsibility to go and check what is this changes i, I can click on this file changes i can see and i can provide you review whether whether you need to change it or something like that or if it is not something good i can just uh I will close the pull request. I will make sure that I let you know why I'm closing that pull request or something like that. All right, so this is how you do um, real-time contribution. So I hope you got some idea about uh, how to do the open source contribution. And this is open space to for all, for as like a beginner or as like a professional. Anybody can come here and learn uh, how to use this platform and how to do open source contribution. And if there is any issues, you can directly ping me on the LinkedIn. Uh, this is my LinkedIn.